Hello, this is Google 201. My name is Hans Tolman, an instructor for this PBVU course, and today we're going to be looking at Google Calendar Basics. Take a moment to look at this meme. This is, of course, Kip from Napoleon Dynamite, and I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. Let's take a moment to check out some of the features of Google Calendar. This is the new Google Calendar. It looks like this, and this, and this. Hey guys, it can take this, this, and this, and put it all here, automatically. It helps you do this, so you can go there, with him, and him, and her, to see this guy. It works here, here, and here. So you can do this, that, and the other thing. Whatever the other thing is. Pickles! So that's just a... This is the new Google Calendar. So that's just a sneak peek into Google Calendar. Now, hopefully you've had a chance to explore Google Calendar. You can do that by going to calendar.google.com. And this is what you'll find. This is the interface. In the top left corner, you will see the main menu. And if you click on that, it will expand this cool mini calendar. You'll be able to search for um, people to schedule meetings. You'll see all of your calendars you've created and other calendars that you have access to. At the top menu, you will see the home button. So if you ever get lost, you can click on that little calendar icon. Also, if you're in the past or f if you're in the past or the future and you need to get back to the present, just hit the today button. And then you can use these backwards and forwards to explore time in the future or in the past. And then, of course, we have this search button that is very helpful for finding events. And if you click on the settings gear, you will see that there's a settings icon that you can click on. And if you do that, there are a lot of settings that we're not going to talk about right now. But I would encourage you to check those out at some point. And next, back on the calendar, we have our main calendar sheet. You can see the current date is bold. You can see there's this little red line to indicate the current time. And then you can click anywhere on this sheet to add an event. And once you do that, you'll see the event pop up and there will be a mini event editor where you can add the title, choose the type of event, choose the time, find a time. You can add guests at this point. You can add a Google Meet for video conferencing. You can add rooms or a location, a description. Um, and then there's also this more options button. And if you click on that, you will see an expanded view where you have a few more options. You'll see a more detailed find a time. You'll also see a place where you can modify notifications. Um, you can choose a calendar or a color and add more details and attachments to your event description. You'll also see some other guest um, preferences that you can set. So let's jump straight into the tasks. Today we're going to be creating a new Google Calendar. You're going to create a calendar event. You'll have a chance to schedule and invite others to a calendar event. You're going to look at the view uh, in terms of day, week, and month. You'll also have a chance to search Google Calendar, use keywords or shortcuts in Google Calendar, and access it offline, and also check out the Google Calendar app on a mobile device. And the way we'll do it in this video is I will read through some instructions. I will model to you how to do that, what it looks like in Calendar, and then you will have a chance to pause the video and do it yourself. So first, we're going to create a new calendar. So on your computer, open Google Calendar. And at the left, next to other calendars, click the um, pl Calendars Plus button. And then you're going to select Create a New Calendar. There, you will add a name and description for your calendar. And then click Create Calendar. Um, at that point, if you want to share your calendar, you can click it in the left bar and then select Share with Specific People. So let's see what that looks like. So here I am in a here I am in my calendar. 
I'm going to go down next to other calendars and click this plus sign. And then I'm going to select create a new calendar. And I'm going to call this calendar my class calendar. And I can put a description for my fifth grade classroom. And then I'm going to click create. And that's it. I now have a new Google Calendar and I have some settings here but if I click this back arrow I can see that I now have a class calendar that I can make events for and if I wanted to share it with specific people I can click on those three dots next to it go to settings and sharing and then I can decide what people I want to share this with so now that you've had a chance to um, look at the instructions, watch the modeling. I'm now going to have you guys go ahead and pause the video and you create your own new calendar. All right, hopefully you've had a chance to pause the video and create your new calendar. Now I'm going to show you five ways to create an event. And remember, I do. I'll read the instructions. We do. You can watch me model if you'd like. And then third, you will do. So. Um, one way to create an event is you click on an empty time on your calendar sheet. So you're going to open your Google Calendar, click any time that's open, add a title and any event details, and click Save. Now, I went through that pretty quickly, and there's also a video here that you can play or replay. There's no sound, but you can always turn that on. Or not. So, let's see what this looks like. I'm going to go back into my calendar, and let's say I want to schedule a lunch for tomorrow at 12 p.m. I'm going to click on this empty space, say lunch, invite my colleague, and then click save. All right, now it's your turn. Go ahead and try to create an event by clicking on an empty time space. I'll go ahead and Go ahead and pause the video, and then we'll continue. All right, another way to create an event is click the Create button. So you open your Google Calendar. In the top left corner, you click this Create button, add a title and any event details, and click Save. This is what it looks like. I'm going to cancel this event by clicking the Close and Discard. So I go up here to the top left. If you can't see that Create button, you may have to click that main menu to view it. Click Create, and then add the title and any details that you would like, and then click Save. All right, go ahead and pause the video and practice that one if you'd like. Another way to create an event is to use a keyboard shortcut. The way you do that is you open your Google Calendar, press just the key, the letter C, as in cat, and then you can add a title in any details and press save. Let's check out what that looks like. All right, I'm in my calendar and I'm just gonna press the letter C. And then it creates, and then it creates an event on the fly. And I'm gonna add my information and press save. Another way to create a calendar event is by creating an event in Gmail. So you, op you go to Gmail open the message where you'd like to create an event with. At the top, click the more three dots button, select create an event, and then you can change the event time, date, and location. And you can see this animated GIF will show you the same thing. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to open a new tab and go to mail.google.com. And that will open my Gmail. Here, I'll be able to click on any of these emails. I'm going to go up to these three dots along my menu bar at the top, create an event, and then it will open up a new tab that will have this information, this email information, all in this event. And then I can share it and choose who I want to share it with. So hopefully you ha you've had a chance to pause and try that out. And another way to create an event, the final way, is to create an event on your phone, which is by far the most uh, helpful way that I've used Google Calendar. So you can download the Google Calendar app on your phone and or iPad. 
you can sign in with your PBV USD account, click the plus sign, this red plus sign at the bottom, and then add event details there and press save. And for my pro users, uh, you can switch between multiple Google accounts um, on your phones, tablets, and computers. Um, I have about three or four that I switch between, and all of those accounts are kept private from the other. All right, next we can, uh, next we're going to learn how to schedule and invite others to a, to a calendar event. So on your computer, you go to Google Calendar, click, click on an event, and click edit the event. Un, uh, on the right, under guests, start typing the name or email of a person and choose someone from your contacts and then click save. So let's try this out. Here I am, I'm editing an event. I see I already have Mary Warren as a, uh, as a guest. Let's say I didn't want to invite her, I can X out and then I can choose someone else. And when I find them, I just click on their names and add as many as I would like. Go ahead and pause your video and try to edit an event and add guests to your event. All right, next we are going to learn how to view the day, week, or month. So on your calendar, open Google Calendar, or on your computer, open Google Calendar. In the top right, you're going to choose a view. So you're going to either choose day, week, month, year, schedule, or four days. And for my intermediates and advanced users, instead of clicking on that menu, you're going to use these keyboard shortcuts, either D for day, W for week, M, Y, A for schedule, X for four days. And you can see this video that shows you what the different views look like. So let's try this out. I'm going to go back to my calendar. I'm going to X out and discard this event. And I'm going to try clicking on D for day. And here's the day view, W for week, there's the week view, the full week, and then M for month, there's the month view, Y for year, and then I think it was X for four days, and then it was, let's see, it was A for schedule. And it will just show your events and a list um, on the left here. I prefer the week view. So I'm just going to leave it at W. Go ahead and pause the video and try experimenting with those different views and find what you like. Next, let's check out the search in Calendar. So you're going to open Google Calendar and on the top right you're going to select the little search magnifying glass and enter your search terms and results will appear as you enter the text. And then you can click on a, a result that you'd like. So here I am in my calendar. I'm going to click on the search button. I'm going to type in hashtag DL trainings. And I'm going to press enter. And if I had any events that had DL trainings in them, they would pop up. If I type in my name, I can press enter. And any event that has the name Hans in it would show up here. And then I could click on that event. So go ahead and take a moment and try searching your Google Calendar. Next, let's use some she uh, keyboard shortcuts. So you're going to click on Settings, select Settings, and then on the left, you're going to make sure that keyboard shortcuts are enabled. And then you're going to press the back arrow and then press Shift Plus, or actually, I think it's Control question mark to see the shortcuts. But let's try this out. So I'm going to exit search by clicking the back arrow. I'm going to go to the settings gear in the top right corner. I'm going to select settings. And then I'm going to, on the left menu, I'm going to look for keyboard shortcuts towards the bottom. And I can see that this check mark says yes, they are enabled. And it says press question mark to show available keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to click the back arrow to get out of settings and press question mark or shift question mark. And here I can see some different keyboard settings. I see those views that I learned earlier. There's how you create an event. 
Um, you can delete events and so on. So pick one or two to try out that you think would be helpful and try out some keyboard shortcuts. And here we see Jake Miller, he's using P and N to go either um, forward or backwards in his weekly calendar. Next, let's see if we can learn how to use our calendar offline. The way you do that is you click on the settings gear in the top right corner, you select settings, under general you click offline, and you turn that little switch on for offline calendar, and then you click reload and your calendar will start to sync for offline use. So here I am in Google Calendar, I'm going to click on the gear icon, I'm going to select settings, and on the left menu, I'm going to look towards almost all to the bottom. I see offline. I'll select that. And then I can turn on offline calendar. So I'm going to select that. And now that has been turned on. And if I click reload or control R to reload the page, this calendar will now be available for offline. I'm going to click the back arrow. And that's how it's done. And finally, the last thing we're going to do is we are going to download the Google Calendar app on your phone or iPad. You're going to sign in with your PBV account, explore by pressing the buttons for two to three minutes, try creating an event and compare it to your experience on the computer. And there's a video here that walks you through what that looks like some apps that are all made by Google. Today, or right now, I'm going to show you this calendar app. Now, your students can use this and you can use this. I'm going to open it up and show you. This is what I have on my calendar for September. If I click on the three little lines in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see it gives me all these options. If I scroll down here past my name, you'll see the list of all the calendars I have that are attached to Google Classrooms. There are a couple of other ones like birthdays and holidays that are put in there automatically and I've unchecked those because I don't want that showing up. Um, events and reminders, I don't really use those either in my school Google Calendar. So you'll see those are the calendars that I can see. Now if I scroll up here, there are different views. If you want to see the whole month like you see here, then of course you're going to click on month. If you want to see a week at a time, you're going to go up to this one. Three days at a time, you're going to go right here. If you want to see just today or whichever one day it is that you want to see, um, I'll start on the first so, day of school. So, okay. lots of great ideas on using Google Calendar on your phone. Go ahead and take a moment to either download that app on your phone in the App Store or the Google Play Store, or you can also go to the App Store on your iPad and download it there. And that concludes our Google Calendar Basics um, video. Thanks for watching.